I just said uh, and, and we're back on uh, Talk AM 1320, WKAN. Everybody's neighbor, Eli, was uh, stopping by. He's uh, everybody's he's neighbor. Making right. the rounds. And uh, Donna Worth, you got jumped in the back seat of the car. Thanks for sitting back there. Make me feel like I'm not we were doing just something. saying we needed a pretty girl to be in the back of the car yeah. and showed up. How about that? And Bill's never, Bill's never picked up a girl in the car before. I'm, I'm sure. It's the first. I thought it was a drive-in. I thought we were at the drive-in. I'm just waiting. You just automatically get in the back seat. <laughs> well, now, careful, Paul. Careful. <laughs> well, she is. Steve's right seat. here, you know. Uh, Steve's why? okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> That's where they met at the drive-in out there on the. So Donna has has another interesting tie to today's show, don't you, Donna? Well, <laughs> I actually lied a little. I have been a student at Paula Aubrey Studio of Dance. Is that what you were talking about? The last two or three years. What? Are you going to run on stage and, and do a little performance with them? There's been no performances. It's just classes. So what did you lie about? The fact that I'm currently a student, that was the, that was a lie. Oh, well, you're not like right now in a class, but in the past two or three years, you're yes. a student. Yes, of jazz and tap with what? Miss Danielle, who is a Oh, Miss Danielle is wonderful, yes. yes. She is. She, she's here today, and uh, Miss Danielle will be one of the instructors Good. who will be doing. Uh, is there a performance here today? There is a performance here today. Didn't you notice the no stage? No one told me. I was you see the bleachers? <laughs> There's several groups ready to go, she said. Now that you're here, look out. Sure. Okay, well, I'd have to get out of the car, though. Well, you can see it from here. You'll well, there's ants in the back. We haven't started yet. You can relax. Okay. Yeah, the Paul Aubrey School of Dance, they're, the, the young ladies are getting changed over at the library. They're going to wander on down. They've got the uh, music all set up and the uh, well, area ready. The farmer's market could provide a stage. The, the, the dressing room wasn't quite as easy to pull off, yeah, so they well, have to do that at the library. We, we have to be honest. The stage is just a piece of the parking lot. Fortunately, the Carl library, put on his... Library or the Urban A Library? Okay, Key Library, right behind us here. Or the other library by... No, me. don't confuse not, me. The, not, okay. yeah, yeah, not Fortunately, that. Carl put on his leotards at home, so he's ready to do... Uh, I don't. I think he always has them on. Yeah, he wears them underneath. It doesn't matter. Am I working that out with my therapist? But uh, He's going to do a scene from the Nutcracker. Port hose. It's like a therapeutic kind of a... Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Help with circulation. Yeah. <laughs> Well, next this week we have the uh, Wednesday Wheels in Kankakee. Have you heard of this, Donna? Oh, uh, yes, I have. Good. Yes. Yeah, so this is uh, what I got, live for. I got a flyer for it. On the, this should be the thing is on. Try to get there. It is. Okay. okay. Left the flyer under the windshield. Yeah. So Wednesday Wheels in Kankakee. Oh, there's a whole bunch of flyers on the front seat of my car. We're broadcasting from a car today. If you're just joining us, and um, you can cruise on in Wednesday night, 5:30 to 8, and we're doing it every first Wednesday of the month throughout the summer. So the really confusing one comes with July 1st. You're thinking it's the end of the month, and then Wednesday rolls around, it's the very first, and then, ah, so I'm, I'm worried about good that. Good thing you're warning people. No, no I think. Please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a drive through feel, doesn't it? I thought <laughs> The girl with the roller skates will get it for you. <laughs> so uh, Wednesday wheels, we're doing that on Wednesday night, and uh, that's part of the busy week this week. Also part of the busy week tonight, Rock the Sacks, the uh, Rock two day rock and roll concert at the library. Think, things things that you don't hear together all the time. There's so much going on in Kankakee anymore. I can't. And we'll, we'll probably. The decisions are just. It's tough to know what to do. Yeah. And so, Rail Fest coming up. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Rail Fest Wait, next. I have the flyer. You have the flyer? Do you, yeah. or did you drop them off up here? They're, they're on the front seat of the car, too. Oh. The Rail, Rail Fest, Fest flyers. And uh, Rail Fest. What's the date on there? Next weekend on Saturday from 11 to 5. And. Uh, we have an author coming to town for Railfest, guy who wrote the biography of Steve Goodman, who wrote the song The City of New Orleans, mentioned in Kankakee. And, and we had him on the show uh, that's a few months ago. Stretch. I don't think so. No, no. It's, it's, a, it's a perfect combination for a rail-themed event to have uh, an author like that. And we're also going to have musicians from Chicago who are coming down oh, in addition right? to kind of provide music that goes with the presentation on Steve Goodman. So they're going to nice. Steve Goodman songs, some rail songs, and uh, it'll be a fun day at, at the depot next Saturday. Come to the farmer's market, then as things kind of wind down here, just go over there. Yeah, over there. Perfect. It'll be a perfect day. And we're trying to find some hobos, too, but uh, I don't think that'll be too hard to find. It's been so long. A lot of them are retired. Yeah. yeah. In the old hobo's home. We're going to we'll work on it. Just trying to make it authentic. 
That's what Alan Kapal wants to do. He's, you know. Well, and uh, we're going to broadcast from a rail car for a rail no, pass, We're going to caboose. I, I think this is caboose. Uh, Oh, that's that is good. I, I wish yeah. you could see, Don. It's, you, you're probably great at charades, Don, aren't you? <laughs> I bet you are. I bet you they are. can only see this. Those little cars. You know, the little cars. It's called the, the little yeah. car, hand car. It's called hand, hand car. There you go. What's the purpose of Two pieces from one location to another. You used to see it on Petticoat Junction, remember? Oh. That's where I remember. Would, that was the only I way to get to Petticoat Junction. Right. Did you need one? Oh, no, I don't need one. Okay. Yeah, that, I, I, I'll get to the race report later in the show. Don McCarty, a local police officer in Kankakee, also a street stock racer. Is that right? Yes. Wow. So he, he raced last well, night. That's and probably he'd be part of our race report. Yeah. Up that's later a valuable later. skill for police officer to have, probably. He got picked out. up earlier for broadcasting too fast. Yeah. This is a uh, what is it, 25 mile an hour you zone? Your, uh, dance outfit on. Don has to get out of the car, <laughs> doing the uh, her best. Her husband Steve helping her. Yeah, I would do that without me. That's my microphone. I wish you could see this one. This is going to be good. Here we go. Maybe I can do this. She's out. Yeah, she's done. Thank you, Donna. Our beauty queen has now exited the vehicle. Very nice to meet you, Donna. Putting on her her shoe. She was kind enough to take her shoes off before she got into the vehicle. Well, she took one off. She was half kind. In the trunk. No, no, no. Yeah. It's 9.50, and uh, you're tuned in to talk AM 13.20. And uh, we're getting ready. People are starting to gather for the Paul Aubrey School yeah. of Dance. And then they heard about Donna's uh, impending performance. So they're, they're, everyone's gathering. Wow, that's very impressive. Oh, it gets better. Yeah. Boy, we need very TV, nice. Bill. Yeah, you, yeah. We need to see you. I can't see it. Dance for tuition oh, free. You missed it. it very nice. Step. Thanks for joining us. Well, we're going to have another, uh, hopefully, uh, more guests in the backseat of the car as that's, the program nice. continues. Uh, that, that is kind of fun. And I think you did. I don't know if there have been other guests in the backseat of this car over its history, but maybe that's none of our business. Probably not. Probably not, yeah. If cars can how, 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 how long has your dad owned this vehicle? Oh, just a couple of years, I okay, think. Okay, so he didn't have it right off the, uh, the oh, show. No, no. We don't keep anything that long in our family. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm Bill Yaka. This is my Uncle Paul behind me. Or next to me, whatever you think Wherever about on the radio. Yeah, you got to get your get your bearings on the radio. And Carl Warnick, and we're broadcasting live here from the Farmers Market on Talk AM 1320 WKAN, and uh, we'll be back with more after this.